Hello gorgeous, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to stretch to eventually get to your splits. Before we start stretching, I want you to warm up a little bit. So make 20 squats and make sure that your hips are a little bit loose. We're gonna do this together, so don't worry. Just follow along. I didn't count, but I'm sure we are past halfway point right now. <laughs> oh, me and counting and doing squats, not my talent. Okay, so now that you've done that, I want you to hold on to something, or if your balance is amazing, good for you. I want you to swing your leg back in front and really warm up your hip and then make a circle. And the most important thing about going to the splits is really, reverse it, is really that you listen to your body. So don't overstretch yourself. It's fine to feel this um, like stretching feeling where you feel a little bit of friction, but as soon as you find like, feel this pain, that's not good. So then reverse a little bit, get out of the stretch a little bit further, so don't push as hard. And we're in a circle, keep going. And you can hold on to something again if you want. And reverse. Okay, now shake your legs out a little bit. I'm not saying that you're completely warm now, but at least you've warmed up a little bit. If you want, you can pause the video and warm up a little bit more, do whatever your body needs, and it differs per day as well. I'm gonna use a knee pad here because I don't have a mat here. If you have a mat or something that you can put on your knee while we start going in the split or try to go in the split, that I recommend highly because you don't wanna mess up your knees. Okay, now you're gonna come down into this stretch. A, lunar, a runner's lunge. <laughs> like we're gonna go to the Olympics and start running. I'm gonna show you from the side, actually. While you do this, you can keep your knee on the ground for a second. While you do this, I want to make sure that your front knee is aligned with your ankle and that you are not opening your hips like this. I want you to keep your hips square. So both hips are pointing to the front. If you need something to hold on to, grab a chair or something, that's all good, no problem. Then, while you're stretching, I want you to stretch away from each other. So I don't want you to keep pushing down towards the ground. I want you to feel like you are stretching, both legs are reaching um, in the direction that they are pointed. So the back leg is reaching back and the front leg is reaching to the front. You can start with the leg in the front, which feels more um, comfortable to you. So the one that's the least stiff, you can start with that one. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our foot, our back foot on the ground, and we're gonna lift our leg a few times. While you do that, I want you to really pull back through your ankle, through your heel, sorry. <laughs> and back down, and again, and Yes, good job. Now that we've done that, I want you to come back and keep your hips square again. Make sure that your hip, your right hip is stacked on top of your knee. So it's all one line. You can flex your front foot and you'll feel this here in your hamstring. So this is just us warming up. So this one is for your, uh, the front of your upper uh, leg. And this one's for your hamstring. Exactly the two muscles that we're gonna be stretching when we wanna go in the splits. So this is the warming up for going into your splits. So whenever you are done with your workout, whatever, at the end of a dance class, do these stretches first. And I always do them with both legs first before I even go and try to go into the splits. But that's your free choice, obviously. Really try to warm it up a little bit and prepare yourself. And then when you're ready, you can stretch out your front leg like we did before and you can slide your back leg to the back. And make sure to really ha hold your hands on the ground so that you don't 
fall into the splits all at once. Keep breathing and every time you breathe in, you come up a little bit and when you breathe out, you really try to focus on the muscles that are pulling and breathe through them. And then once you feel ready, or when you can, you go a little bit down, a little bit down, all the way down till you can sit. That's not gonna happen all at once. I can already tell you that, but every single time you'll go a little bit further. Make sure to try and keep your hips stacked to the front like we did in the runner, runner's lunge as well. And you can move a little bit from side to side. Also when you're here, that's okay. You can keep your back leg bent a little bit. You can move a little bit, whatever feels comfortable. Even if you're here, that's okay, no problem. You're gonna go a little bit further every single time. So you move your back leg a little bit back every single time when you feel you can. That is the built up for our splits. I hope that helped. Let me know how it goes. Make sure to be consistent because stretching is consistency. If you don't do it often, if you're just gonna try every once in a while, it's not gonna work. I'm sorry, <laughs> I have to be harsh in that one. It's not gonna work. You have to be consistent and it doesn't have to be hours. Just make sure to do it every single time after a workout or once you do your morning stretch or before you go to bed. Make sure to warm up a little bit and try these uh, stretches to get to your splits. Let me know how it goes.